Namaste everyone. Wishing everyone a very happy Diwali. Stay safe. I pray all our loved ones are safe and happy in their homes. Today I bring to you a gulkand ice cream. Gulkand is made out of rose petals. You layer it with the rose petal sugar, rose petal sugar and keep it in the sun and that's how you make a preserve out of it like a jam. It's very traditional and Indian in flavor and I've been making the ice cream for a couple of years now instead of having just the traditional mithais around the Diwali time. We love serving it to our guests who visit us. It's very simple to put together. There is no churning required. Very few ingredients and it is delicious. I'm not very fond of uh, traditional flavors, but I was amazed at how happy I was with this ice cream of mine. If you want, you can add just a drop of pink or red color to give it that soft uh, hues of pink else you don't need to so give it a try do like to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notification all the recipes are given in the description box below the arrow pointing downwards it's all in there so click on that and you'll find it have a safe diwali aap sabko diwali ki shubhkamnaye and a happy new year thank you so for our rose gulkand ice cream try and get the red Amul cream if you can this is dairy and not soy i'm using this today i've taken a stand mixer today in that i've added the red amul cream which i had showed you so we're going to whip that if you have a regular electric beater use that first keep it on a bit slow and then slowly increase the speed while it's beating we're going to add some condensed milk i had kept this also a bit cold i'm adding that some rose syrup or roo afza and a bit of rose extract we are going to whip this till we get soft peaks so slowly increase the speed to the next level after you've gone to full speed slowly start reducing the speed and stop you can see it's formed a soft peak so it's done now what we are going to do is we're going to take some gulkan here and we are going to fold it in okay do not churn any more we are going to fold this in don't get the air out see how beautifully we've got the folds we're going to slowly fold it in and mix it really well so that you don't get too much gulkand in every spoonful otherwise it'll be too sweet to manage if you want add a drop like i have done and just try and create some swirls it looks quite nice So this food color is very optional and mix it very gently. Don't like do a heavy hand in this. My air is still incorporated. Like this you're going to mix it. Take a loaf pan or any other pan that you have and we're going to add our ice cream here. Just spread it. Even it as much as you can. Now whatever is left I'm going to pour it in another pan. Take a bit of rose syrup. and just drizzle a bit not too much you'll feel sickly sweet or just a few drops if you want just take a toothpick and you don't have to do this because once you put the cling wrap you might not even see it but just add a bit take a cling wrap and stick it to the ice cream this is really good because this helps by not forming any ice layers if you don't do this even if you have a cover on your ice cream it tends to form some ice layers this prevents it from that now we're going to chill it overnight or at least 10 to 12 hours so the ice cream was resting in the freezer overnight looks well set take a scooper i've kept the scooper also in the freezer and we are just going to scoop see it's come out really well you can see the gulkan and the pink trail of the rose syrup and a soft pink hue it's perfect sweetness and it's really delicious try this during the wali time because it'll be something different and very indian in flavor thank you